Look at my shirt, y'all. I couldn't resist. I got it on Depop. And um, this was the first Immortal album that I ever heard. The first song I ever heard was Tyrants. So I had to grab this when I saw it for a decent price on Depop. Oh, I'm excited. But anyway, let's get into why we're here today. Over the last 12 years, I've been to approximately 60 concerts. And growing up, that's one of the things that I really, really wanted out of adulthood. Like when I was a teenager, I was looking forward to adulthood because it was going to involve going to all the concerts. And lately, I don't know why, maybe it's from hitting 30, but I've just been reflecting on all the amazing opportunities I've had. And actually, over these last 12 years, I have done my best to maintain a running list of all the concerts I've ever been to. So I figured, why not share them on a YouTube video? Is this bragging? I don't really think so. I think it's the same kind of thing as, let me show you all my metal shirts. Let me show you my record collection. So I'm gonna show you my concert list. And also, this is just, this is not the kind of conversation that I get to have in person. I have a handful of metal listening friends, but you know, it's, it's nice to be able to share my list with someone who understands how meaningful it is. So that's another reason why I've decided to come on here and do this. And I'm not trying to put anyone down with this list. I'm more like trying to be like, oh my gosh, you guys, listen to what I did. You know, I want to just kind of gush with y'all. Let's think of it as like, I'm spewing gratitude rather than bragging. Listen, we live in a golden age where we get to see God's live in concert. This is amazing. We should cherish this. We should revel in these moments. We should share them with each other. And we should be grateful that we live in the time that we do. And in like 30 years, when the next generation or the generation after that is watching this YouTube video because YouTube is totally still going to be relevant, they'll be like, oh man, that girl got to see Celtic Frost in concert. That's insane. All right, so I'm going to go through the list. Oh yeah, and all of these are not metal, but most of them are. Um, my listening preferences are metal-based. <laughs> I'm on a metal-based diet. I was kind of deciding if I wanted to put this all out at once or if I wanted to kind of release story time videos or something like that, but I'm just gonna put it all out there. And I have done a couple of story time and um, vlogs, like concert vlogs, so I'll try to remember to link those below. You can check those out if you care. And let's just get on with the list. First, in May, this month of 2007, I saw Typo Negative with Celtic Frost and Brand New Sin, but I don't know if people still listen to them. But uh, that was my first concert ever. I don't even need to explain anything, okay? I just don't. But there is a story time on this. After that, I saw Dax Riggs for the first time. I don't really meet people who care about that, but he was the vocalist for Acid Bath, which is my one of my favorite bands ever. But I really like Dax's other projects, so it was fantastic to be able to see him. And uh, since then, I've seen him nine. No, I've seen him a total of nine times. Okay, then I saw Zombie, and then I saw Earth. In September of 2008, I saw this amazing carcass tour, and it also involved Rotten Sound, 1349, Suffocation, and Aborted. Mm -hmm. And I was there for all of it. It was lit. I saw Sonata Artica and Nightwish in 2008, and... Um, I did a story time about that, but Nightwish didn't play because they had they had the singer Annette at the time. So Annette was sick, so Nightwish didn't play. But we got to see a big fat Sonata Artica set, and then afterwards, oh, oh, it's no big deal. I just got to spend some time on the tour bus. But if you want more info, watch my other video. I saw Sonata Artica again in 2009. In New Orleans, I saw Baroness and High on Fire and Opeth, and that was awesome. I saw Camelot <laughs> with Roy, with Roy. Okay, 2009 <laughs> kicked off with Scion Rockfest, and I wanted to make a full video about it, but you know what, I'm just gonna put it in right here. Scion Rockfest was a free music festival, 
basically what you had to do was like claim your spot. And this lineup was amazing and it was free and it, I don't know how or why, but Scion, it's like sponsored by Scion the car. So that was awesome. So I'm going to read off who we saw there. They had several stages going at the same time, so you couldn't see everybody. But we saw Torch, Ailstorm, Skeleton Witch, Boris, Pig Destroyer, Rawake, Wolves in the Throne Room. And that was like back when they didn't even really tour. And it was amazing. And when we were in there, they made the staff turn all the lights off. And it was so cool. And we saw Tear. And then we saw Neurosis. It was a crazy day. I saw the Birthday Massacre. And I also saw them again in 2012. Sorry, that was a little out of order. In 2010, that's the year we're in now, I saw Cold. Does anyone remember that rock band, Cold, from like the early to mid 2000s? I love them and I still love them. So it was awesome seeing them. I saw I Hate God. <laughs> I love them, but I tell you, I'm not intimidated by death metal guys, black metal guys, whatever, but like, I hate God. I find them extremely intimidating for whatever reason. I'm scared of sludge people. I'm not scared of anyone else. I saw Epica in 2010, and I think Sabaton, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I think Sabaton opened for them. All right, we're getting into a little bit of bluegrass now. Um, I was raised on bluegrass. So I saw Dread Clampett and Sam Bush both twice in the 2010-2011 area. Okay, we're in 2011 now. In 2011, my husband and I saw Avenged Sevenfold and Disturbed. My husband was a big <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold fan in college, and I really loved Disturbed in high school. So that was, that was pretty cool. I saw Goat Whore for the first time in 2011, um, and I met... Sammy and Ben and I shook Sammy's hand so this hand is blessed by God we saw lit in 2011 now let's move on to 2012 uh, we saw some 41 we saw rise against we saw napalm death with municipal waste and exhumed when I'm saying we I think I started out saying I now I'm saying we it's all we it's all me and my husband he is a trooper, okay? He comes along for the ride. He comes along for all this stuff that he didn't sign up for. In 2013, I saw Cannibal Corpse with Exhumed. There had to have been someone else on the bill, but I don't remember. Then I saw Lil Wayne with T.I. and 2 Chains. All right, uh, those tickets were free, but I do like rap. I love 2 Chains, and T.I. is pretty cool. And I used to like Lil Wayne, but not really anymore. Any other uh, metal fans like rap, terrible rap too? Let me know. In 2014, I saw Combi Christ with William Control. That was a really fantastic show. Combi Christ means a lot to me. And um, we've kind of gone our separate ways now. But this, this was a good show. And this is when they were still kind of making the music that I wanted to hear. Next... We went to see I Hate God. I Hate God didn't show up, but it's okay. We watched the band that opened for them. They were called Enabler. Saw Goat Whore again. Goat Whore, they tour a lot, and I have, we have a lot of chances to see them. It's really great. I love that they come to the dirty, dirty south and like hit up these small towns, and it it's awesome, and they are always a lot of fun. Oh. Oh, I just realized I don't know if I'm saying this right. Amana Marth or is it Amona Marth? It's probably Amana Marth. We saw Amana Marth with Skeleton Witch, except Skeleton Witch didn't have their vocalist because he had to leave. <laughs> so they just played an instrumental set. Bless their heart. I saw the birthday massacre again with New Year's Day. Love the birthday massacre. It's 2015 now. I saw Aeon with Behemoth. And Cannibal Corpse. That was freaking awesome. Behemoth, it was just after the Satanists had come out, so uh, they ended with, Oh Father, Oh Satan, Oh Son, and I was like, Alright, then we saw, I barely remember this, we saw Breaking Benjamin, 
that was my husband's choice, but I liked Breaking Benjamin back in the day. And they played with this other band called Young Guns. Then it was Marilyn Manson, which is awesome. Next, was this really together? I put them like they're together, Chevelle and The Used. That's cool. Next, we saw Def Leppard with Tesla and Styx. I'm a huge Def Leppard fan. So that was a wonderful experience. It did rain on us the whole time, but it just added to the drama. Next was Third Eye Blind, still a, a favorite of mine. There are a few rock slash alternative bands that I still actively listen to, and Third Eye Blind is one of them. That was, that was great. Am I saying that was great after all of these? Okay, next, this was like, this was a groundbreaking moment. We had a double decker weekend, back to back concerts. The first night, was Blind Guardian with Gravedigger, and that was like a Friday. And then the next night at the same venue on Saturday, we had Watain and Mayhem. Oh, and Riding Christ. And Watain had become one of my favorite bands, so it was really great to be able to see them. All right, now we are in 2016. I saw Epica and Moonspell. We drove three hours to Atlanta, saw it, and then drove three hours home, and then went to work the next day. Oof. Decapitated came to my town in 2016. Next was Voltaire, who was actually performing at an anime convention that we went to, but he was super fun, y'all. Next, Nightwish and Sonata Artica again. They're buddies, huh? Sonata Artica did a real short little set and all the attention was on Nightwish. And they had Floor, <laughs> am I saying that right? Floor was their vocalist and I think she's great but I hadn't listened to them since Tarya went away. So I didn't know a lot of the new material but they did play some old jams, it was cool. Next, okay, so like I had this, this choice to make. Do I see Def Leppard again? Or do I see Heart for the first time? I was like, I just feel the pull towards Def Leppard. So we went and saw Def Leppard again with Ario Speedwagon and Tesla. And they played like the same exact set, like the same show that they played the year before. It was like identical. And I was like, I didn't really know it was going to be like that, but it was still fun. I, I'll, I will love them forever. <sighs> Are you tired yet? Next was Belphegor with Origin and Abigail Williams. In my adulthood, I have become quite obsessed with Belphegor. So their their show is amazing. They have like the hoods and the incense and it was a mood. I'm actually about to see them in like three weeks again. Can't wait. All right. Next is Carcass for the second time. And they also uh, were playing with Deaf Haven. Deaf Heaven? Whatever. Oh, and at this carcass show, I got a pick. At 2017, I also saw the Beach Boys, uh, Brian Wilson Beach Boys, and I went with my husband to see Blind Pilot, which is like a, I don't know, hipster band? What would you call them? I don't know. The longer this video gets, the more I wonder if this is interesting at all if I'm just reading a list and ending every item with, that was awesome. In May of 2017, I really wanted to go to this anime convention in Atlanta because they were having a Final Fantasy symphony and I couldn't find anybody to go with me. So you know what this girl did? She went there by herself. I can't believe I did that. But I saw the Final Fantasy, A New World, Symphony, and I made a video about that, but that has nothing to do with metal. And I'm proud of me to this day, and it was totally worth it. All right, we're, we're still in 2017. I saw The Birthday Massacre for the fourth time. Oh, I made a video about that. Oh, look at me. And then I went with Sky to see <laughs> Iron and Wine, who I never thought I would go to see. That's another hipster band, in case you don't know. Next. I saw a hipster band by choice, Foster the People. I just love them. 
And then the next weekend, Wolves in the Throne Room. It was like church. It was so good. I never, I didn't think I was going to be able to see them a second time. But life is amazing. Oh, okay. And I made a video about this in 2017. I thought I was going to see Suffocation with Decrepit Birth. Even though they were opening for Black Dahlia Murder, who I don't care about. Um, I was like, well, let's go for those two, you know? And, well, turns out Decrepit Birth already left the tour. And then turns out Suffocation has a new singer. Did you know that? Because I didn't. Then in November, we saw Immolation with Mayhem. That was just amazing. Immolation really, you know how sometimes a band doesn't really hook their claws into you until you see them live? And then you're like, oh. That's, that's basically what happened to me with Immolation. And I don't know. They just sucked me in. And then Mayhem was terrifying as always. <laughs> March of last year, I saw Watain again. And they were headlining this time. It was right after Trident Wolf Eclipse. Wolf Trident Eclipse? Eclipse Wolf Trident? Right after their newest album came out. That's another very, very special memory. Then that summer, we get back into my rock roots. We saw Eve Six. And I got to meet them. Also that year, we saw a perfect circle. Amazing. I don't actively listen to them, but my husband's a big fan of Maynard or whatever. So a perfect circle was hypnotic. I would recommend a perfect circle concert to anyone. Next, my my city fest had Jim Blossoms and 38 Special. So you best believe we went to that. And then 30 Seconds to Mars, which was my husband's choice again, but I actually had a great time. It was really fun. Next was Whitesnake and Foreigner, who were both celebrating 40 years as bands. And I'm a huge Whitesnake fan. So that was a long time dream come true for me. We live in a wonderful age, I'm telling you. David Cloverdale is like 67, and he's still just this amazing rock star. And last month, I saw Hideous Divinity opening for Cryptopsy and Aborted. Cryptopsy was another band that really just uh, captivated me. I think that would be the word. They were captivating. And like I said, next month we have, this is, this is huge. Who all, who all is going to the Devastation on the Nation tour? We have Hate, Incantation, um, Dark Funeral, and Belphegor, and Nightmare, and uh, Veil of something. I don't know them. Sorry. That, that's an insane lineup. And they're coming here, which is crazy. All right. That's my list. As far as I'm concerned, that is my life story. When I'm dead and people want to know what did Katie do with her life, just show them this list. <laughs> if people are like, did Katie live life to the fullest? Show, show them that list. The answer is yes. Life has been awesome. It's been amazing. I've done so many things I've always wanted to do. Oh, but you know, since you're here and since we're talking about concerts, let me tell you who I haven't seen a concert that I would like to. Halloween. Halloween. So bad. Catatonia. Carpathian Forest. King Diamond. And Tiamat. So tell me about some of your concerts or some of your upcoming concerts or your favorite concerts or your uh, wish list concerts. I don't know. I hope this was an interesting watch. I didn't realize how listy it was going to feel, but so maybe I'll vlog Belphegor. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> I probably should since it's going to be one of the best moments of my life. But anyway, I'll be seeing ya. Stay metal. <laughs>